Hello everyone, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. I am joined by Deltron Live. Hello. Alrighty, so let's continue our top ten. Random number generation. What are we gonna play? Have we played seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Part and parcel. Let's do it. So this is a very polished map. Indeed. Let's see. Create game. Uh so I found this one to be for me, it was like a definite choice. I knew when I saw this in the top 10, it would be one of my top five picks. Okay. I also chose this in my top five, and it was a obvious choice for me as well. Let's get started right away. So this is this map is very sanitized, but not not in like a boring way. Sometimes when you use that that phrase, and it means it's just sort of boring, but it's it's got a very smooth feel to it, and it's mm. it's pretty unique. It's it's still very much a. Uh, it's sort of a protect the the thing to get to the point, but you mm -hmm. have to spawn it by collecting parts, right, which I think which, is excellent. Yeah, it forces you to just explore the map and you know find these parts, and they're not just all lying on the ground. You have to kill some different enemy units. They drop uh, parts. Some enemy structures drop parts, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. Not enough minerals. So you got Kerrigan this time? Yes. Was there a difficulty selection? There was one? not. Thanks for answering my distress call, Commanders. Oh, this guy. Amon's already dug in with his death shards, and it's only a matter it's of time before they're voice. ready to detonate. <laughs> he has the shards protected by reinforced I also like the installation look but I've got an Archangel from HOTS. I do. I, I, do. I, I think it's a... It's a welcome addition. I mean, we just need some, we'll need some variance, some, some flavor to the existing station. map Thanks pool. Answering my distress call, Commanders. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, so all the dialogue plays twice and it's only a on the, the latest version of the map. That wasn't like that when we played. No, so he must have made some updates and accidentally doubled up on the transmissions. She took a beating in her last fight, so we'll need to salvage some parts for her. Well, I don't mind hearing him. <laughs> I was just thinking that, too. I'm gay for Cal's voice. <laughs> don't tell, I won't tell your wife. <laughs> So I've, there was one or two people that I saw who left comments that were like, make sure you destroy the trains because if you miss it, there won't be enough parts. And maybe it was changed. It, it, something was obviously updated since we played last because mm -hmm. there were when we played, there were no issues with parts with at all. Getting enough parts. Yeah, we got more than enough. So we'll see what that's all about. If it's going to be an issue or not. We are playing on hard, which is the only difficulty selection for this one, right? Well, it defaults. Yeah, there was no selection. It just defaulted. And I remember, I think it was Outsider Z who said, even if you mouse over your partner and it says hard, that doesn't necessarily doesn't. mean that that's the... Right. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. And we're against Protoss this time. Okay, so we need 80 parts. I think some of the... I don't remember how many parts were needed in the original version of this map, but that was some of our feedback, was make it so that it requires more parts. And maybe that's what happened, and that's why people were saying that it was, you know, don't miss the trains. All right. Got an enemy attack coming for our base. Stay frosty. Stay okay. frosty. Kerrigan's out in 10 seconds. I'll we'll just wait for her. Your overlord. Ah! Could those always attack air, or was that only since Phoenix? Your efforts are futile. I honestly don't know. Because I didn't think I they... I remember them being able to attack air. Yeah. Weird. Ooh, that really peeves me. <laughs> Lost an overlord. Speak. I think the... I, I, I don't remember if the... It's not going to work. Are they free? They're not free, are they? No. Okay. No, but we, you get parts out of it, which is nice. Okay. So it's not like you have to destroy rocks just to get your expansion. You actually get some parts out of it. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a win-win. It's something. <laughs> what is it already? Calling down the hot period. Our allies are in combat. 
Okay, 22 out of 80. Got plenty of time. Pretty comfortable. Let's take your expansions. I can work with this. Yeah, plenty of time. Those parts come good. I can work with this. <laughs> I can work with this. <laughs> Make it quick. I vaguely remember. I think only ground units can pick these up. Yeah. Well, that and then I vaguely remember all enemy buildings dropping parts. Or I might. I think I'm wrong there, actually. But I, I thought that was the case. Now it's only specific things that are marked will drop parts. Mm -hmm. Oh God, Phoenix. Oh, uh, the Phoenix. Oh, the Phoenix. <laughs> You must place that on creep. Good work, Queen. Holding it holding things together. Lots of parts here. I keep glancing up thinking like, oh, we're gonna lose soon. No, there's plenty of time. No, there's lots of time. I'd almost argue maybe the first one should have less time. This feels pretty relaxed. Mm -hmm. Less time. Spawn more I mean, we're almost, we're more than halfway there. We still have six minutes. Yeah. And we're just kind of getting our expansion set up. And, so. Yeah, I suppose one of the constraints here is not so much the timer. Well, it is the timer, but even though there's a lot of time on the timer, you have to just make sure you collect enough parts. That ships components from salvage mm -hmm. to manufacturing. We should crack open some of those cargo wagons and use the parts for the arcing. There's an automated rail network. Here we go. Components <laughs> from salvage to manufacturing. We should crack open some of those cargo wagons. Oh yeah, we know. The parts for the arcing. I think this could uh, again, I guess it depends on what we difficulty we're on, but this could stand to have more uh that death shard more enemy units. To blow. Heads up, commanders. Command. That death shard is halfway primed to blow. Right. Taking a lot of time to macro, which I probably shouldn't do. Same here. I'll try to push through here and get to the train. Our forces okay. have met the enemy in we'll combat. be fine. And Kerrigan is so gas starved. That ma that Vespine mastery is just seems so important for her. For yeah. Hope you're ready for this. Archangel repairs are just about finished. Keep your eyes peeled for more Our of those parts. You're making good progress attack. out there. Just a bit more of that hardware and all be combat ready. Our allies are. Oh, we want them to be combat ready. All right. Evolution completed. The fight. Okay, and here's the train. No time like the present. I think we'll, yeah, we'll be okay. Yeah, we should get it. Cool. It doesn't really drop that much. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> so we have, yeah, we have 80. Yeah, then we have to clear the landing zone. Yeah, I think that was a smart choice to make you have to clear the landing zone. I'll be ready to deploy on your signal. You see the terrain over here? There's like this below ground area there's like a lurker down there some other where at in this area right here where my units are oh there's like a hydralisk in there and yeah it's kind of neat running out of time yeah that's neat finish off that death shard running out of time commander oh we just got to go on the beacon i think it's done yeah your queen time to move they are definitely going to know what hit them. Time to move. <laughs> they are definitely so, going so to know awesome what hit them. It's still awesome when the Archangel lands. <laughs> it's nice that he's on our side. Mm -hmm. can't hide from me. Knock, knock. <laughs> now, I think, I think he needs our help a little bit. If we, if we didn't help him, then... He would die. I think so. Yeah. Make what happens if he dies? That Probably lose. Satisfying. Oh no, it doesn't the say. It just says don't let a death shard awaken. But we'll need another round of repairs before she's ready for her next. Fight. That was satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have no idea though. Beautifully. Okay. But we'll need another round of repairs before she's ready for her next fight. What? Attack incoming. Get ready. Oh good, they spawn right on top of us. How ideal. 
Interestingly enough, the parts, if I hover over them, it shows that you're, like, in control of them. You? Like you sp or me? Uh, you, Jay Barino. Oh. Yeah. Well, what can I say, you know? <laughs> you own them. <laughs> ah, they're rebuilding. Get out of here, probe. Stop it. My attention. It's just a very clean, very polished map. Yes. Our forces are under attack. I mean, some could say it's fairly easy, but again, it's just. I mean, there's only one difficulty setting. Mm -hmm. well, I like it because it's 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 straightforward but unique enough. It's it's still new. It's still a it's still a new concept. Uh, Archangel, the Archangel is cool. It's already an existing Blizzard model that they can easily repurpose, which might be why they picked it over some of the other ones that have a lot of uh, custom models. Right. Because then they might have to... I'm realizing now, then they might have to like credit other creators that aren't actually in the competition. You know what I mean? Right. Or take those models out and implement their own models. Yeah. There might be some... Yeah, why, like, Skyfall did not make it. Some of those other maps that had a, a lot of custom assets. So I read that Skyfall was an issue about localization. Like, it's, like, um, the China client, if you if it was built in the China client, it's not eligible. So basically Chinese creators were ineligible, if I understand that correctly, which has to do with... Uh -huh. The country. I don't think it. I don't think it was really? arbitrary or anything. I thought that was just for the voting. I'm actually not. That's a good question. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point. I actually have no clue. Void rays. Are and then another train. The addition of the trains are, is nice too. It just kind of keeps you having to move a little bit. You're not just you don't get tunnel visioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad I voted for this map. I I really like it. Well, as, as I'm playing it now, I find myself kind of at a lack of things to say about it, which isn't really that good. I mean, it's good or not good, it's hard to say, because like I said, it's unique, it's it's different, but it's it's just it's just very clean. That's probably the best way I could describe it, it's just very clean. There's not a lot of feedback to give it. I think we it was the same, we had the same issue the first time we played it. Right. Like, yeah, it's good. And that's that. That's a very good thing when it's when it comes down to just saying like, well, it's it's shrug. You know, it's good. <laughs> yeah. But it's also not. It's not recycled. I think is that's also a good thing too. Yes. Attack of the Hydras. All right, it's just oh, it's it's cleared out now. I think there Archangel we go. Online. <laughs> I wasn't watching earlier, but when you see that thing land, that is really cool. Yeah. I like how it auto targets things with the big missiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you could say. Open. No. Open up. <laughs> go at your base. No. Oh, I didn't make I didn't make Nidus worms. My fault. Okay. It's like you gotta make those Nidus's with Kerrigan on these missions. Yes, Hyperion. What a dream. Yeah, we already had enough parts from the previous. Yeah, I, this next. I guess I just don't follow how people could not have enough parts. I suppose if, you know, you just... 
you know, you're playing on a set difficulty. If someone typically plays on normal and they get a hard difficulty, they might struggle. So that would explain yeah. that, I suppose. But we already have enough parts, so we can start clearing out the the location. Yeah, I guess we don't really have to be pushing into this space. Your queen, explain I made every single one of Rainer's units. <laughs> nice. Quite pleased with myself. Vultures, fire vests, medics, <laughs> banshees, battle cruisers, Vikings. So I guess my original suggestion still sort of stands, is make the parts maybe either a little more rare, or make it require more, more parts to activate the Archangel. Also there's no bonus, but there's also, I mean, there, I think I didn't realize that it was actually in the rules to not include bonus objectives. Really? Yes. Not, I mean, it's not like a you'll be disqualified, but they basically said don't bother with a bonus objective. Okay. So you didn't need one to participate. Well, props to him for actually following the rules. <laughs> yeah, because most people most people included bonus objectives. Yeah. Really got that diverse Terran army going on here. Knock knock. <laughs> So like that, that time you didn't say it, it was twice. It was nice. <laughs> Sweet, we've done it. It seems the dark god didn't bring big enough guns. Amon's forces are in full retreat. It was a pleasure fighting alongside you, commanders. Nothing left to shoot at? Huh. I didn't expect oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> that's the yeah, double. Up. Like, it was a different <laughs> line, though. For all of us, the facility is clear. Couldn't have done it without uh -huh. you. Yeah, it was. You know what I think? On this map, there was another submission to Dominion War, War Machines, which was personally in my top 10 that did not make the top 10. Yes, I agree. And it's similar. Uh, you feel to the map. You had to go collect. Um, I, I don't remember if they are parts or whatnot, but I remember they had like little mini bosses in different areas. And I think that would be a neat addition to this map, having like unique areas of the map where each of the areas was defended by some sort of mini boss. I think that would add to this, the quality of this map. Yeah, I agree. And I was thinking earlier, you know, maybe it had to do with the custom units. Cause I was talking about, mm -hmm. you know, we were talking about Skyfall Again. and then some other yeah. submissions that had custom units, but Cradle of Death has custom stuff. Scavenger right. Hunt has Christopher, which is custom. So there were, there were ones that made it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, other than those two maps, I don't know. I think all the other maps use original assets. Yeah. Or vanilla assets. So. Well, this is a good one. It was clean. It's again the. It's clean, pretty much bug free, except the repeated dialogue now, which didn't used to be there. Um, and mm. it just it's a good flow. The map wasn't very large, and just a it's a simple but interesting, unique concept. Yep. Cool. I agree. All right. Thanks everyone for joining us. We'll be back next time for some more Rock the Cabinet Top Ten Entries. Yeah, yeah, thanks everyone. Bye-bye.